Most of us just throw something away and we think nothing more of it, but that trash will go on quite the journey after it's left your hands. We throw a lot of stuff out too. It's hard to say how much each individual person dumps because we all have different lifestyles, but if you look at figures from the US Environmental Protection Agency, the average American will produce about 5.91 pounds of trash each day. We'll mainly focus on the USA today because, hey, it said Americans produce a lot of garbage. In 2019, The Guardian wrote, the US represents 4% of the world's population but produces 12% of municipal solid waste. In comparison, the countries of China and India make up more than 36% of the world's population and generate 27% of that waste, said the newspaper. The question is, where does all the garbage go? It's a very complicated story because trash can be a global traveler. We have some data from the US Environmental Protection Agency and although a couple of years old, that data said that in the USA 262 million tons of municipal waste is created each year. That's a lot of garbage. Half of that is said to end up in a landfill somewhere. Landfills are also a complicated issue and we'll get around to that. Of the total waste in the USA, only one quarter of it is recycled, well, allegedly recycled, but we'll get around to that too. In 2019, The Guardian said that throughout the entire world each year, we produce 2.1 billion metric tons of municipal waste. You can find different figures, but most are close to that amount. By 2025, the massive garbage we create will be much, much bigger, according to the World Bank. If you didn't know, when we talk about municipal waste, we're talking about the stuff collected by the city, the garbage we're all responsible for. By the way, if you're British, you might call this stuff rubbish. Rubbish, garbage, trash, waste, tomato, tomato, it's all the same. To give you some idea of how much garbage we all create in this world each year, it's enough to fill 822,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. We recycle only about 16% of this globally, leaving a lot of garbage that just rests someplace or goes up in flames. Now let's follow some garbage on its journey so we know what it gets up to. The Rockefeller Institute tells us that when we throw stuff out, such as food scraps, clothes, boxes, bottles, cans, etc., certain things travel different paths. There are three main paths, and those are to a recycling plant, to a landfill, and to a place it can be incinerated and turned into energy, but it first has to be sorted at a sorting facility. You might not know this, but some countries accept waste from other countries, and then they recycle that waste. China, for instance, has imported a lot of recyclable waste from the USA over the years, but we're told China put its price up and restricted how much it buys, and a lot of municipalities in the US didn't much like this, and so opted to turn to the waste to energy facilities and landfills. This has a negative effect on the environment, though. The Atlantic asked in 2019 that if the USA is creating more and more waste, what happens now that China is off the table as a dumping ground? This is a snippet from that article. For decades, we were sending the bulk of our recycling to China. Tons and tons of it sent over on ships to be made into goods such as shoes and bags and new plastic products. But last year, the country restricted imports of certain recyclables, including mixed paper, magazines, office paper, junk mail, and most plastics. More cities are now turning to burning and landfills. So while in the past in the USA, a lot of the recyclable waste might have ended up in China, it's now more likely to end up in a landfill someplace or get incinerated. It may also get into the wrong hands and end up where it shouldn't, and that's another issue we'll get to later. The Atlantic tells us that landfills produce a lot of methane and are bad for the environment, and burning produces carbon emissions, which are also bad for the environment. The conclusion to this article was that while for a long time Americans could just throw stuff away and not think about it, maybe it's now time to start thinking about consuming less. The National Waste and Recycling Association said for years low-paid workers in China would sort through American trash, but those days are over. It also said that in the USA, it makes little sense to hire people to do the same because it's cheaper not to recycle and just buy new plastics and paper. There are state-of-the-art recycling facilities in the US, but the problem is these trash sorting machines keep failing failing because so much non-recyclable waste is thrown out with the recyclable stuff. Better machines are needed because they get clogged and break a lot. According to one US manager of a plant, you have to ask the question, at what point do you feel like you're spending more money than what it takes for people to feel good about recycling? So, if you can't send the trash abroad to be sorted, it might get sorted in the US. But as we know, not much of this trash is recycled due to costs. The trash is piling up, but it's hard to tell people to buy less because buying stuff makes up a large part of the economy. 
This creates quite the conundrum. It's a puzzle the whole world will have to figure out sooner or later. We can look at statistics from a few years ago. In 2015, if you threw something in the trash in the USA, it would be picked up by a garbage truck. The truck then disposes of the stuff somewhere else. The place where the garbage waits is called a transfer station. From there, it'll be given a destination. Back in 2015, it said in the US, 52.5% of the garbage would be sent to a landfill, 25.8% would be sent to a recycling center, and 12.8% to a waste to energy plant. The rest would be composted. That's a lot of waste in landfills, and if we're to believe these recent articles saying more and more will get dumped into these things, we might ask what happens to garbage when it's there. Landfills consist of layers that are lined with clay and then covered in plastic skin. Drains and pipes are installed to take the contaminated fluid created by the trash. One layer is filled and then it's covered with another sheet of plastic and on top of that, soil and plants will be placed. The garbage after time should decompose. The stuff we recycle that shouldn't end up in these landfills are mostly materials of paper, glass, plastic, wood, and metals. So if it's not recyclable and it doesn't end up in the landfill, it should get burned. Now that China and some other countries have cut down on what they take from other nations, countries in Europe such as the UK as well as here in the USA are going to have to create more facilities for garbage on their own land. We talked a lot about the USA, but recent articles in the British press tells us the UK was sending 2.7 million tons of plastic waste to China each year, and some more to other nations in Asia. In 2018, The Guardian wrote that Britain still doesn't have anywhere near enough facilities to recycle. For that reason, most of the trash gets exported. The problem is though, while it's sent abroad to be recycled, investigations revealed it was actually sometimes just getting dumped in landfills, and those landfills were spread all across Asia and some countries in Europe that are not quite as wealthy as Britain. The problem in the USA has happened in the UK, with countries no longer accepting waste or charging a lot for it. In 2019, an article described exactly what happened to British waste. It followed the journey of an empty can of Coca-Cola. So the consumer throws that in the bin with the rest of the stuff. The garbage men, they are sometimes called bin men, will take it to another place for sorting. These places are called materials recovery facilities, and there the materials will be separated into their constituent parts. After that, the parts will be sent to various brokers and traders because waste is big business. In the UK, about two-thirds of all plastic waste will be sent to countries in Europe and Asia. About half of all paper and cardboard will go on the same journey. The rest of the paper and cardboard will go to mills in the UK. While most of the glass will be melted, washed, or smashed, what's left, food scraps, bits and pieces, will be sent to a landfill in the UK. Like the USA, the UK produces more garbage than it can handle. As China has started turning its nose up at the garbage and it's cheaper to buy new plastic in the UK than recycle it there, a problem has arisen. The Guardian wrote in 2019 that a lot of British rubbish now ends up in other Asian countries such as Thailand, Indonesia, and Vietnam. The problem, wrote the newspaper, is that a lot of the stuff isn't recycled in those countries and instead ends up in landfills or even illegal dumping sites. Malaysia is home to some of those sites, and in 2018, a lot of British waste was found at one of the sites along with other nations' waste. British companies have also been found guilty of lying, saying waste contained one thing when it actually contained a lot of other things. In one case of a shipment of paper from one of the UK's largest waste companies, it was actually made up of sanitary towels, diapers, and clothes. It seems there are a lot of bent players in the game of getting rid of the garbage. In 2019, a Thai media outlet said that now that China isn't accepting waste, Thailand and its Southeast Asian neighbors are becoming major dumping grounds for the world's plastic garbage and electronic waste. The problem is, while there are laws as to what can be dumped in countries such as Thailand and Malaysia, there are legal loopholes and some people are just breaking the law. The loophole in Thailand is actually quite simple. That's because it's not illegal to import waste if it's for recycling, but then in many cases it just won't be recycled and instead gets dumped. Activists have said that some of the waste has even ended up in abandoned buildings, while illegal waste is being found in other places all the time. The wealthy nations wash their hands of the stuff because they can't deal with it, and unscrupulous businessmen in some less than wealthy nations are making a packet. Sometimes the waste is discovered before it can be dumped, with Thai police saying they discovered a huge waste pile in 2018 just outside of Bangkok. The stuff came from 35 countries that included the USA, Hong Kong, China, Germany, Japan, Malaysia, and Vietnam. One US activist said people feel better in the US because they feel their garbage is being recycled abroad, but he said that's often a myth. 
He told The Guardian in 2019, it all sounded good, it's going to be recycled in China. I hate to break it to everyone, but those places are routinely dumping massive amounts of plastic and burning it on open fires. It's a case of out of sight, out of mind, but some people might be suffering from other people's garbage. So to conclude this story, when you throw something into the trash, it might end up being burned or recycled or placed in a landfill in your country, but there's a good chance it's going to find its way to another nation, either for recycling or sometimes being illegally dumped. It's a problem, this waste thing, and that issue is ongoing. We should likely be mindful of what we consume and dump, but the economy at large wants us to consume our hearts away and remain sick with the desire to buy more and dump more. We haven't mentioned the ocean in this video, because that's a story unto itself. But a lot of rubbish does end up in the ocean. In fact, it's said in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, there is 1.8 trillion pieces of trash weighing a staggering 88,000 tons. Ocean garbage comes from all over the world, but it's reported that the worst polluters of the water are China, Indonesia, the Philippines, Vietnam, Sri Lanka, and Thailand. Most of the stuff isn't just thrown directly there, but it comes from other waterways, from sewers or blown from landfills and streets. So a bottle you threw out in Baltimore could conceivably end up at an illegal dumping site in Bangkok and then make its way into the ocean. We should end with something positive though, because all the time technology is coming up with better machines to sort garbage. Machines have been invented that use artificial intelligence to better sort the stuff, and so we hope soon those machines will make recycling in wealthy nations cost effective and they won't have to use poorer nations as dumping grounds. Automation in this case will take some jobs away, but we think machines here might save the day. Do you have a better idea for what to do with our garbage? Tell us in the comments. Now go watch insane things garbage men have found in the trash dump. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.